Lisa. And Pat. And Zero HR. And they're with Power Film Solar. And we met them at Hemcation and we wanted to be able to set up um, all our stuff here. But things got a little busy and we didn't get to do that. So today we're just going to be showing them how. You'd unroll it and it's a bit muddy so I'm not going to actually do that right now. But you would unroll it out in the sun. Then you plug it into the charge controller. Take that. And finally you put it into this. And then you plug this into the radio. to know is there any way we could do this with like other solar panels mm. with more power right so you guys are using a 28 watt rollable we also make foldable solar panels and I'll have Pat tell you a little bit more about this particular panel sure so this panel is 30 watts at about 16 volts it's great for charging a 12 volt system um, it comes with a connector on it that's one that uh, is an automotive connector that we've used for a long time it's a good connector but we also have accessory cables to go to uh, Anderson Power Pole or to alligator clips if you want to charge a battery with alligator clips or, or whatever you'd like to do. It comes with a car charger adapter. Um, we've been selling these at uh, Hamvention this week that were made for the military and are surplus, but we also have all this stuff on Amazon as well. Um, but very lightweight, this 30 watt panel, yeah, one more to go. This 30 watt panel uh, weighs, I believe, about just about, yeah, about a pound and a half. Uh, as you can see, easily fits in your backpack and stores for quick deployment. Um, and we make sizes ranging from about 5 watts all the way up to, well, we have one that's 220 watts that we're selling here today at Hamvention. And uh, we have tents that'll go up to 5.6 kilowatts if you'd like our tent, our military <laughs> tent. So, got the whole range covered. Uh, certainly for field day, solar's a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> but like on a day to day, um, would any of these ones work? Would these ones actually work for on a day that's very cloudy? cloudy. Not yeah. perfect sun. That's a good question. You know, your eye does a good job of tricking you into thinking there's enough light. And on a day like today that's pretty overcast, we're only at about uh, 20 or 25 percent of full sun capability. Um, but that's enough power with our larger panels. We're making almost ice with our refrigerator unit over there right so. now plenty of power. Um, certainly with this 30 watt panel, you'd still be able to get eight or nine watts. When the sun comes out, you'd be back up to 30 watts and good to go. Okay. Is there any other type of setups that you can like use different types of batteries and stuff? Well, sure. If you get the right charge controller to go with it, you can charge uh, lead acid batteries, the lithium iron phosphate, uh, it's all about getting the right panel paired up with the right charge controller. One of the keys in ham radio is to make sure you get a charge controller that's good and uh, electrically quiet, right? Because you don't want to go to field day and set up and then you hear your radio's got a bunch of noise coming in because of the charge controller. So you just need to be careful with that. Um, and then you don't want RFI. That's bad. Nobody wants to listen to that. <laughs> Do you have any other suggestions of things that can work? You see these are like half size of the ones that are square that yeah. fold up and yeah. are more power. Right, so I mean we make what, 5 to 220 watt foldables? So whatever your needs are, we can we can meet them in it. I mean we also do a ton of custom work, so yeah. if you have a custom design you need power for, uh, we can do that. Yeah, a lot of companies come to us and Besides the military products we build, companies will come to us and they say, you know, we're building a sensor or something that's going to go out to a remote area and they need to power that. And so we can help them design a solar module that works for their application uh, and the electronics to go with it to, so that they can have something out in a very remote area, like maybe something in the desert that's monitoring something. 
Um, we uh, also, oh, other products. So mm. we have a rollout product, maybe you saw one, the lightsaber, mm. that has a battery built into the tube and a USB, so then you can just charge your cell phone. And we have a bigger one that we're just releasing this summer yep. that has even uh, more solar on it and it rolls out with the battery in the tube. It's got 18650 lithium yep. batteries and that even has a 12 volt output so you could go straight from that unit right into your KX3 and run it um, and you don't need all the stuff in between. No. So. It's got the battery charge controller and everything. Yep. It's a pound and a half. Yep. So very, very lightweight. If you wanted, you can find that. It's still available. It's on Indiegogo.com. Search Lightsaber Max. It's got USB ports on it. It's got yeah. all kinds of stuff. It's got a Swiss Army knife in the silhouette.